Hello everybody, I'm Zek, and today we're going to be looking into VS Code snippets. So this is just specifically for Python, but you can make snippets for pretty much anything else in VS Code. A snippet is basically any text or code that you have that can be reused. But let's say you're typing something and one of these things comes up with like a little black square, uh, and then whenever you click on it, it puts all this code there, magically. <laughs> we're going to learn how to do that today. So you can go to the extensions right here, and you can type in Python snippets, and you will find different extensions. So we click on this one, and you can see here that there is like PYIF. If you type that in, it makes an if statement. It basically just auto fills for you. But here, we're gonna go down to the little manage icon, go to user snippets. So here, uh, you probably won't see all this up here. This is stuff that I've made. Uh, it'll probably be down on the list in alphabetical order, but you could just type here, Python, and we'll click it. And you can see it opens up the JSON file. So here you can see I already have snippets, but yours probably won't look like this. It'll probably just be these comments right here. But we can just copy this example, put it right here, we'll highlight everything in control forward slash or uh, command forward slash for Mac. And see there's an example of logging and it puts this here. This dollar sign one is a variable that you can type in. But we'll go and make something for Python specifically. Alright, so we'll just do I am dash uh, panda. Right. And so here we can type uh, import pandas. And for our description, we'll give it some kind of description. There we go. Of course, don't forget the, the comma there. And then we'll go back to our app. So here we have I am panda, the one we just created. See, it automatically reloads. And we'll click it, and there we go. Now we have pandas just like that. So if you ever make a brand new class, be, oh yeah, we just do that. Boom. Now I have my pandas imported. So we can go to something a little more than just an import. Um, so if you've ever gone and written a bunch of Python, uh, you know that typing this if name equals main can be a can be a little I guess a hassle uh, to type every time you want to make something like a little script for it. So we'll basically go back into here. Just copy this, paste it here. And we'll just say if if main. I'll put Python in front so that way I know it's specifically for Python. So in here, every one of these set of quotations is a line. So if you want to add another line or another line, uh, you just do it like that. Then once you make it long enough, it'll format as long as you have a formatter. So here we'll just type if name equals, and you have to do backslash, or you can do the same quote. Uh, there we go, and then we have a colon. The next line we'll have one, two, three, four. Tabs don't really work in this, so you have to put spaces, and then we'll just put print hello. And we have the next line as a space. Instead of printing the console, we're going to put uh, Get main. Get main. Uh, I get get if main. There we go. There we go. So we save it. We'll go back to our little program here. We'll get rid of this. Uh, and we'll type Python. And then we have if main right here. Click it. And there we go. Set up. We'll go ahead and run this. And you see it does work. It says hello. We put the snippet in here, it will highlight this right here, so we can just type away what we want to. We'll go back here, we'll type Python, if main, click it, you see it highlights the hello, so I can easily just say goodbye. And boom, now it says goodbye. And we can extend this even more and put another one here but instead of one we'll have two uh, we can leave it as hello that's fine too see it put on this next line uh, we'll go back to the app so if we type python we have the if main again 
Now it has both of them, you can see they're kind of selected, but the first one is the first one we're going to. So you can say foo, and if you hit tab, it automatically goes to the next one. And you can do this for pretty much anything. You can do it for function names, that way you can easily create functions. There's a lot of applications for it. There's a lot of other things you can do as well that I won't go into detail in this video. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can do other cool things. Um, I have this Python main where you know it sets up the if main, sets this directory so whenever I'm programming it, I don't have to worry about file references and everything being messed up. It just you know, changes it to the file directory starts the program. So you can do a whole bunch of other things with this. Uh, there's lots of applications to it. Uh, another thing is like if you're typing this and you want to see these snippets, I think they're defaulted to be on the bottom, but you can change them to be up top. And to do that, you will go to manage settings, click on this little uh, file right here to go to the settings JSON file. And this editor snippet suggestions on top will put all of your snippets on the top. I hope this video was very informative and helpful. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.